Hey, so I just want to, I mean, do, I'm doing a lot of different things, especially in real estate these days in 2022, because everything's kind of changing. And I think that you, if you're watching and you're thinking about getting your license, or if you do have your license, you probably just stop selling and stop, uh, you know, going after getting your real estate license because, um, you know, each and every day I do talk to people and they're like, oh yeah, you, you sold the house. Oh, you got $12,000. You got $10,000. Um, and then yeah, you sold the next house and you got that much. How many houses do you sell? And I could just do that. I can talk to people. I can have conversations with them. Well, it, it's not just that it's, it's running a business. And if you're not up for that, or you don't have the ability to do that, then I think at this point you should just hang it up is what they would say. Um, and I, the reason I say that is because there's been so many times I've had conversations with people and it's almost like a derogatory conversation where it's like, Hey, uh, I could do that. That's an easy, simple task to sell a house. I mean, like you just have to do paperwork. Um, but it would also be like the same thing is, um, my video guy, Nick, if I went to him and said, Hey, I can make that video. Uh, you just, you know, took a camera and shot the video or took some pictures and put that up online and you got ten, fifteen thousand dollars for it because you have a different angle than somebody else. I could easily do that. Well, for one, it diminishes the person that actually is doing it. And people that come out and say that really don't have, you know, their wherewithal to realize what that person's feelings are and how much time and effort they put into it. And two, you got to know that you're going to have to put a lot of effort into building a business. Doesn't matter if it's doing videos, doesn't matter if you're shooting uh, photos for a wedding or you are selling houses or you're, you know, doing loans for people that are getting into their first condo. It's going to be hard. It's going to, you're going to have to go through trials and tribulations, go up and down. So if you're not ready for that, then I wouldn't get my real estate license or I wouldn't even try to, you know, finish out getting my real estate license or I would just stop being a real estate agent because there's a lot more things that go into it. It's marketing, it's sales, it's having conversations with people, it's HR, it's dealing with employees. If you're growing a team, it's going through the, the hustle each and every day and actually getting to the nitty gritty on what needs to be done on that daily basis. Do I need to actually have that strong conversation with that client or do I need to have that bad conversation with my employee because they haven't been doing anything for the last two months and I'm still paying them and why am I paying them? So if you guys can't have that conversation or you can't do that in a business or do that more than one time, or more than 10 times, because if you're an, a realtor, your average sale is about three to four a year, and the average realtor makes $39,000, and across America, the average income is about 55,000, so you're even shy of that. So I would go do something else. But if you wanna put in the hustle and the grit, and then be able to get into real estate and go across you know, any length of challenge, I would get into real estate and handle handle whatever you need to handle throughout the business and grow the business. Look at it as a business. So that's why I say you shouldn't get a real estate license. If you're, if you're thinking it's going to be easy, um, just like shooting videos, just like, you know, going through some type of easy class in college, um, versus economics. That's why that, you know, they, they only have one class or two classes that are easy and the rest are pretty difficult is because those those easy ones make you a better person, make you think more well-rounded. And then the harder ones make you a better person in your character and then also build you towards something of value like business or economics or accounting. So things um, that I would say is don't get your license if, you, if, it, if you're thinking it's going to be easy. But if you're ready for, you know, a grind and a hustle, you should get it.